morning, everyone. Thank you for uh, attending the conference this morning. We're gonna go ahead and get started. A uh, little bit different format uh, today. We have about 20 people on the on the, the call right now. So 17 of you are uh, attendees. I know a lot of people with the uh, COVID situation going on right now have other meetings and obligations they have to attend to. So we're, we're having a, a fairly light meeting this morning. I did a practice run of this yesterday, so it will not take the entire two hours that we have scheduled today. It'll actually only take about a half hour to go through all this, so we'll get you guys off the phones and back to work shortly. So for those of you who don't know me, I'm um, Jason Griffin. I'm the Director of Education and Safety Services here at CAM, and I'd like to welcome you all to today's Safety Achievement Award Ceremony. As we're all dealing with unique challenges created for our business by the COVID-19 virus, I'd like to thank all of you for joining us for our first virtual award ceremony. I decided to move forward with the ceremony today because I felt it was important to recognize the incredible efforts that all of you have put into providing a safe workplace for your employees, especially during these challenging times. Normally, I would present each of your organizations with an award certificate, but with the social distancing precautions now in place, it just wasn't possible today. So at this point, I have mailed your certificates. Uh, they went out on Friday, March 20th to the addresses that were provided in your applications packet. Uh, by this point, I imagine that many of you uh, should have received your certificates by now. Uh, if you haven't, please let me know. Uh, I'm anticipating that with the uh, enhanced demands in our logistic systems and our mail services, some of those may not make it to you. Um, so if you do not get your certificates within a timely manner, please let me know and I will reissue you your certificate. For those who, uh, for those who were not able to attend today, I am recording this session so that this will be available uh, up on our YouTube page and I will share a link with everybody after the meeting uh, once we get the, the video processed and, uh, and uploaded so that folks who are not able to participate will be able to see it later on. Uh, I've asked the Gold Award winners uh, for this year's conference to give us the, their presentations on May 11th, which is our next CAM Safety Committee meeting, uh, provided that we're all able to meet. If not, then we will probably do a similar um, venue like we're doing today using GoToMeeting to host those uh, award ceremonies, uh, the, the, the Gold Award presentations, to allow people the opportunity to, to learn about how these organizations achieved safety excellence in 2019. Today, I'm pleased to award 43 member companies for outstanding safety achievements in 2019. I'd also like to thank at this time our event sponsors for the support in making this award ceremony possible. A little bit different format, uh, and we're planning on extending this so that we can get uh, photographs and uh, the folks who are receiving their awards in a, in a timely manner. I'd like to get those pictures in. So if you have received your application, or your certificate rather, and uh, you have the ability to take a photo of that somewhere, if you would, please send that to me and I will try to get that in our June edition of CAM Magazine. I'm pushing it back from our May edition just to give us some time for the award presentations and other things that we're trying to get done. So for our gold sponsors, I'd like to thank Clark Construction Company, DeMaria Building Company, BTC Insurance Group, and Oakland Community College. Your support has definitely helped in making this event possible for, for several years now. Our silver sponsors, Broner Glove and Safety, Lee Industrial Contracting, and CAMCOM, and our bronze sponsor, Commercial Contracting Corporation. Thank all of you for your continued support of this program. The CAM Safety Achievement Awards are presented to CAM member companies who achieve days away restricted or transfer rates, known as DART, and recordable injury and illness rates below the Michigan private construction industry standards. 28 of our 43 award recipients reported zero incidents in 2019. Where companies are tied with a zero incident rate, we use the experience modification rate to determine the gold, silver, bronze, and honorable mention recipients. I would like to start with the recipients in the, uh, of the honorable uh, award mention in the less than 50,999 hours worked category. First up, we have Pondcraft Door Company, the Daily Company, and Williams Electrical and Telecommunications Company. In this category, next, I'd like to recognize our gold, silver, and bronze winners in this category. Our bronze award winner this year is Braun Construction Group. Our silver award recipient was City Carpet and Flooring. 
and our gold award winner this year is Michigan Mechanical Insulation Incorporated. I'd like to take a brief second just to recognize their achievements and thank them for their efforts. In the 51,000 to 199,999 hours worked category, I'd like to recognize the following companies receiving the Honorable Mention Safety Award. Douglas Steel Erection Company, Frank Rewald and Son Incorporated, Kirko Management Services LLC, JS Vig Construction Company, LS Brinker Company, McLeody Brothers Incorporated, Motor City Electric Technologies, Oliver Hatcher Construction, O'Neill Construction Company, Rotor Electric Company of Michigan, T.H. Marsh Construction Company, Turner Construction Company, and Universal Glass and Metal. Excellent work. Now I'd like to recognize our gold, silver, and bronze winners in this category. For bronze, we have Edgewood Electric, LLC. For silver, we have Schiffer Mason Contractors, and our gold award winner this year was George W. Auck Company. As the number of hours worked goes up, the number of companies who qualify goes down. Statistically, the more work that a company has, the greater its exposure. This often results in higher number of recordable incidents. The companies in our last two categories are exceeding industry standards and are setting the bar for worksite safety. In the 200,000 to 499,999 hours worked category, I'd like to recognize the following companies receiving an honorable mention safety award. Clark Construction Company, ENL Construction Group Incorporated, Huron Valley Electric, Motor City Electric Utilities, Niles Industrial Coatings, Progressive Mechanical Incorporated, and Ronselli Incorporated. Now I'd like to recognize our gold, silver, and bronze winners in this category. Our bronze award winner this year was Saxe Construction. Our silver award winner was Brinker Team Construction. And our gold award winner in this category this year is De Maria Building Company. Excellent work, everybody. In our final category, we recognize companies who recorded over 500,000 hours worked in 2019. These 11 award recipients reported a total of 13,074,162 hours worked by 6,135 employees. That is an incredible amount of hours, and it is more than twice the sum of the man hours for all three of the previous categories combined. I'd like to recognize the following companies for their honorable mention in safety. Barton Mallow Company, Commercial Contracting Corporation, Goyette Mechanical Company Incorporated, John E. Green Company, Lee Industrial Contracting, Motor City Electric Company, and Oscar W. Larson Company. Excellent work. Thank you for your, your dedication. Now I'd like to recognize our gold, silver, and bronze winners in this category. Our bronze award winner was the Chrisman Company. The silver award went to Ideal Contracting Incorporated. And our gold award winner this year, again, was Superior Electric Great Lakes Company. Excellent work to all of you. It's an incredible achievement considering the number of man hours worked. Our last CAM Safety Achievement Award goes to the company that reported the lowest experience modification rate. This year, that honor goes to Ideal Contracting, LLC. Congratulations, everybody. I appreciate you taking the time out of your schedules today to be here to hear who the award recipients are. All of the results of the award ceremony are posted to our website at www.buildwithcam.com under the safety page under safety achievement on that uh, award menu. I look forward to seeing you all again next year, hopefully in an actual conference. So to summarize our meeting here today, congratulations to all of our award recipients. I feel it's important to recognize that all of the award recipients today, regardless of whether or not you received an honorable mention or gold award, achieve safety performance above and beyond both the federal and state industry averages for construction. For many of our award recipients, the differences in the point system were literally a hundredths of a point. 
I'd like to thank each and every one of you for your dedication to safety excellence. Once again, I'd like to thank our sponsors for helping us make this event possible. Congratulations to all of our award winners. Please feel free to attend our May 11th CAM Safety Committee meeting to see our gold award presentations on how the, those organizations achieved safety excellence in 2019. Have a safe and healthy construction season so we can see everyone back here again next year. Thank you.